What's going on, everybody? Hello, hello. Welcome to another video. Today we got some broader stuff. And obviously the title of the, <laughs> the video is self-explanatory. But pretty excited for the World War II stuff that, that has come out. Uh... I did not. Uh, I did not get on the uh, the pre-order for this stuff. So uh, when these became available, I believe it was a few days ago. I uh, I jumped on it, and uh, mine got shipped out really quick. I think if you, what was it? I think it was on the what was it the second, or I think it was the second. Yeah, um, I think it was like the second at eight o'clock. These went live. So I jumped right on it really quick, um, and these got shipped out, like, immediately. Um, I also do live pretty close right now, as I'm still living in Buffalo, New York. Um, I live pretty close to where Marauders is, which is in uh, New Jersey, so. But anyway, uh, Zorpox, how's it going? Kyle, how's it going? Human Mechanism, what's going on? Yeah, there's a, well, yeah, yeah, Human Mechanism originally, what was it, a couple days ago, this was just like two or three days ago, they announced that there was a seven uh, day delay, now there's a 14 to 20 day delay, which is, whoo, that's crazy. So I put in a pretty sizable order, um, I didn't get all the figures, uh, but I got the majority of that I wanted, I'm going to have to go back. After this, uh, the hype dies down a little bit, and pick up some of the um, some of the uh, the German soldiers. I didn't get any of the German soldiers, unfortunately. Um, Holland Bricks, how's it going? Hello, hello, everybody. Buck Wild, hello. Nice to see you all. Went all in for the Kickstarter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. We got a whole bunch of. You know it's a lot if Marauder sends you a box because they never send you. <laughs> they never send boxes. They usually send envelopes. So. So we got a whole plethora of parts here. We're just gonna kind of play around. There's not really a theme here. Um, just gonna kind of mix and match stuff. Um, there are specific people in here, and there's a couple extra bodies that I picked up as well. So we've got, uh, this looks like the uh, British soldier, I believe. And we got a, an American soldier right here. Got a bunch of helmets. All this stuff is loose as normal, you know, with Marauder stuff. Oh, they even included display stands. That's pretty nice. Um, please use care. When first posing your figure, do not force movement of any joint if it feels a little stiff. Before before you possibly damage your figure, warm up the joint with a blow dryer or dip it in hot water to release the factory production seal. There you go. <laughs> You've all, we've all been warned. <laughs> all right, so... I wonder if this is the... F oh, they... No... Maybe they included a new free gun, because I didn't order that gun. And it didn't come with any of the guys I came with. But I did order two helmets, or two... These aren't really helmets, they're kind of like uh, the tank hats, or tank helmets for the Russian guys, so I wanted an extra one of those. They play around with a different character I might be working on. And then all we got all this stuff over here. I got... Uh, Two, three American bodies, all Marine Corps. So that's pretty cool. So we'll just kind of split those three up over there. And then over here and over here, we've got these two that goes with those two. And then we've got the extra pieces right there. And Woodman, how's it going? And then we got my Wind Talker and my. Wait, where's my Wind Talker? Oh, it's probably one of those. Uh, but we also have my Medic, which I was really excited about. Getting the Medic with the stretcher and everything. 
So that's going to be a lot of fun to play around with, too. And we have attention, and we have attention warnings everywhere. So, like I said, this can be a long stream, so get a comfy chair. Or if you're on a couch, get, get a comfy blanket. It is cold now. Unless you're in the West Coast, then it's probably warm. But anyway, <laughs> it's going to be a longer stream, like I said. So if anything does freeze up, I'm going to let you guys all know now. If anything, if anything does freeze during the stream, I will re automatically restart the stream. So just, you know, if the stream freezes and I say, oh, okay, I'm going to have to restart the stream, wait about 30 seconds, and then I'll have the, the stream restarted uh, 30 seconds to a minute or whatever. Just, just doing that as an in-case of because it has happened in the past, but I will be restarting the stream right away, so. I uh, got them the first week of December. Have yet to get all the way through my box. Got to go through the Germans yet. Yeah, I didn't get any Germans. I kind of wish I at least would have got one, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm sure they'll have more. Or I'll put another order and just wait the 20 days anyway. In a few minutes, I want to know your opinion on how well these can be incorporated into your Joe versus. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, it's World War II stuff. I guess if you want to do maybe like Sergeant Rock, you could go that route. But uh, it's it is it's dated stuff. I mean, it's World War II stuff. I mean, I don't know how much. I mean, maybe if you want to do, like, a throwback character, call him, like, throwback or whatever, um, you could go that route and just have him wearing World War II stuff as an homage. But he would have to use, like, modern stuff. Why would he be using... He wouldn't want to use World War II stuff. He'd be inept at that point. Um, I think this is kind of, like, its own thing. To me, at least. To, to each their own, if they want to, you know, incorporate that into your Joeverse. I don't really think it works, personally. But, I think it's, I mean, if you want to do it, do it. It's, it's your own thing. Or if you want to do, like, a World War II-style Joeverse, hey, do your thing, you know? Um, Russians will make great uh, October Guard. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. I guess you could go there, right? Be, I mean, it'll be a little dated with the, the uniforms, but uh, I guess you could go that route. You could use pieces of them, sure. So I got one Englishman here, and I'm going to have to leave you guys for a second because I'm going to get an energy drink. Um, but for now, we will... You know what? We're going to start off with the Medic because I'm really excited about that, I think. That and the Wind Talker. So we'll put all this stuff aside for now so we can focus on one thing at a time. Uh, what do we want? What do we want here? Yep, this is my British guy. Actually, we'll start off with the... You guys want to start off with the British guy or do you guys want to start off with the medic? Ooh, what's this little piece of... Ooh, a little bandit. Look at these little bandages. So teeny. There's the... It's all plastic, by the way. It's all plasticky. Medic. So, looks cool though. Nice sculpt. It does bow in the, the middle a little bit. Give off the illusion that there's some weight there on it. It does. Alright, we'll start off with the medic. Right, we'll do the British guy next. The British gentleman next. All right, let's get him out of the package here. Do have my handy dandy hair dryer somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna have to go down there downstairs and get it. There we go. My girlfriend was recently in town, so I had to. She had to use it, so it's downstairs. But uh, they give you a display stand with it. That's pretty cool. I 
I'm watching, messing around with the Mythic Legions, Archmages. Oh, the uh, the ogre, the one-eyed ogre, Cyclops. Nice man. I plan on picking him up. I plan on picking him up. Rich, look, Rich, how's it going, man? How is it going? There we go. Move this in. It's so far away. Let me get my little thing. Get my little thingy thing. Thing. There we go. Move all this stuff in. Make sure there's nothing underneath there. Then we'll go through all of the features. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's my wind talker. Bags galore. I have bags galore now. Uh, I'm doing well, Rich. How, how, how are you doing? How's everybody doing today on this Thursday? This fine Thursday. Uh, yeah, uh, Kyle, no no modern stuff in this order. It's only the World War II order. So, But I do have a Big Bad Toy Store order coming. So... That is on its way, and there's a whole bunch of 118 goodness in there. In that the Big Bad Toy Store box that's coming. It should be here Tuesday of next week, so. Um, all right, so we got a whole plethora of stuff here, which looks really cool. Oh, I like what they did there with that. Well, we're going to get to that. Okay. Tim, how's it going? Uh... I didn't grab any of the Green Army Men versions. Nah, I'm probably going to wait on those. I might just get one, if that. Um, I wanted to focus mostly on the, the allies for this one, and then we'll do the Axis powers later on. Um, and then I'll do the all Green Army Men maybe some other time. But for now, I just wanted to get the, uh, the allied powers, so. Yeah, I'm moving. Hauling bricks. I'm moving to South Carolina in a few weeks. So. Uh, yeah, no, I'm moving to South Carolina, Tim. Sooner than later. I'm still packing stuff up. There's so much to pack. And then I have to store a bunch of stuff. Uh, waiting for a payday. To order some of the some of these dudes excited what they got yeah yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of quality in here you can tell that they put a lot more paint apps in this stuff than they did with some of the other stuff like the earlier marauder stuff like there's a lot more paint apps in this stuff and uh paint shading well, that's a, a plethora of different things hauling bricks Girlfriend, job, school, whole bunch of stuff. No, you're never too old to go back to school, you know? All right, so enough about me because that's boring talking about me. Um, let's talk about these. Okay, so we have, I'm going to get my, my tweezers here. We've got a radio, which is huge and bulky. But there's your radiadio, radiadio, radio. We've got a satchel with, uh, it says US on it. Looks really good. Nice paint apps on the, the straps and everything. Looks very nicely done. And we have that. And then we have, a, ooh, this looks to be like a, Either a leg bandage or a neck bandage, possibly. But nice sculpting with the bandage itself. Looks good. And then we got a teeny, weeny, weeny, weeny. Shriveled little short, short man. Don't want, don't want, don't want. And little bandages that are just rolled up. There you go. And then we've got... 
an IV. Really cool that there's some blood in there. Blood transfusion, probably. And then we have a crutch, which is pretty nice. There we go. And then we have an arm sling. An arm slingy dingy. And there's actually a little paint shading going throughout, so pretty cool man and I think that's it for that and then in the separate pouches that we have we've got this backpack that's got obvious holes on on it, it says it does have a, the US stamp on it and there's holes on the side and in the front and we're gonna get to all that fun stuff Put that over there Got his harness. That's pretty cool. Looking good, looking good. And then we've got his poncho. Or his tent. Pretty sure it's a poncho. Yeah, looks like a poncho. And then we've got helmet, rain gear helmet, regular helmet, very nice, nice sculpt, and then we have a shovel, trench shovel, with the US stamp on it, and it has the peg, and this is going to peg into the backpack, and then we have a silly little head, it's very angry. Okay. Uh, and then we have another satchel, which I might use for somebody else, maybe. And then we have a bandolier. Oop, hold it properly. There we go. So there's that. And then we have a canteen. And this does have a peg. And it's going to peg into probably the harness. And then we also have what looks to be a pocket. Look at that teeny little U.S. stamp on it. They did such a good job. What a good job. And then we got another pocket right here. And then we have a belt. So much goodness here. So much goodness. So much goodness, Grish. Grishish. And then if you get the medic, you can't not have a Red Cross symbol. There's a Red Cross symbol. There's that. And then we have a knife and a sheath. It's a red sheath, which I think looks pretty cool. And a red handled knife, which looks, I think, very nicely done. That's a bar knife. That's, uh, I think that's the technical term for it. Let me know in the comments below if I'm incorrect. Uh, Terry, how's it going, buddy? We got a gun holster. And then we can't, you can't have, you can't have a World War II U.S. soldier without the iconic 1911. My favorite pistol. So there's that. Okay, so let's get him all together. Let's get him all set. I'm not going to put the head on quite yet. I'm going to try and figure out the method of the to the madness with some of the stuff. A lot of these are just his accessories, so we're just going to push those aside for now. And we're going to come back to those because this is stuff that he's going to be using in the field, not necessarily something that he's going to be putting on his body right as of this point maybe the satchel a little bit later but we'll get to that in a little bit can everybody hear me okay hopefully 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 all right so first thing we'll do is we'll put on his harness can everybody see me and hear me okay all right so his harness which is new you want to 
Oh, let me get my hot. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my energy drink. Like I said, it's going to be a very long stream. So I'm going to get A, my energy drink, and B, my hair dryer. I'll be right back. Oreo, keep them entertained. Okay, I'm back. Got a water too, so I can stay hydrated. You gotta keep it hydrated. All right. Heads are a little tight, heat them. Yeah, I usually heat everything, so. No biggie. All right, so what we're going to do is that should be good. There we go. Okay, crack this open, crack a lack this open. Uh, I guess some water. Okay, time to get to work. Don't knock your energy drink over, dipshit. There we go. Okay, let's get our harness on. I just kind of want to throw it on like a jacket, so we'll do that. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I guess we could also put on the... I guess this is redundant. I'm not going to put the belt on. He just has the harness. Then. There we go. Nice, tight. There we go. That's what he's going to look like with his harness on. Now I could just use the belt instead. Uh, it's just an option. You don't have to use it. You have the harness. You, it's the same as the belt. So, damn guts. How's it going, bud? Uh, yeah, I'll probably be doing like a a hangout unboxing. I got another big bad toy store unboxing on. If the box comes in on Tuesday, I will do it Tuesday. If not, Wednesday of next week. Uh, but I got a whole bunch of really cool stuff, 118th, uh, scale figures that are coming in, so. Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for that in the next, that'll be in the next stream. All right, for some reason, I don't know why, but it's making me, my mind is wanting me to, to mess around with that backpack. I don't know why, <laughs> but, uh, all right, actually, you know what, we'll do the backpack next. So I'm going to use glue in a second. I just want to see how well this fits in. Because sometimes things will fit in so well that you don't even need glue. And if that's the case, then that'll be the case. All right, I'll fit that in there. I'll fit that in there like that. I do recommend you use glue just in case the figure falls off your shelf in the future. This is my personal recommendation. Uh, Christopher, how's it going? I do recommend that you, a little bit of the I do recommend that you use glue just in case the figure falls off your shelf and then a, a, a piece pops off. Uh, this way you don't have to worry about that in the future, so. All right, next up, we're going to take the shovel and we're gonna put the shovel right in there. Right in the center, right there. Right there. 
Oh, there goes a figure. Hammerhead fell off the table. <laughs> but there you go with that. And then we have two more pockets. And I gotta say that everything really does peg in quite flush easily. Uh, I wanna say that um, it actually pegs in better than some of the modern figures do with uh, some of their stuff. Usually with most of the modern figure stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to uh, glue everything. So that's a nice little tidbit. Let's see how that fits in too. Come on. There we go. Oh, no. You had it. Can you focus? Good Lord. All right. These are going to be a little bit more difficult for this side here. A little, little guidance. It'll go in. All right. We'll come back to that. Put this this side there you go just like so that looks good they work the peg system make it better that's good that's good to hear they're always it's always room for improvement you know there always is room for improvement nothing wrong with that too you know making things better makes everything better so there we go. That's our backpack. Looks really good. I'm liking it quite a bit. Looks very nicely done. Very pleased with that. Um, I'm probably going to glue everything just because I think it looks great like this. So, but that's a very well done backpack. Very well engineered. I don't, I mean, you don't technically have to use glue. Maybe, you know, the, the shovel might be the weak link here when it comes to things popping off, but... Overall, very nice backpack. All right, next we'll put on, uh, we're going to put on the, well, we'll use the bandolier. Why not? You know, we'll use that. Let's see which way is it going to go. It's going to go this way. No, nope, we're not going to force that. We're going to heat that up. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. To be do. All right. Uh, Christopher, yes, they do have Russian Russian soldiers. If so, would it be a lot cheaper to make the October Guard? Uh, probably. Uh, and this way you can make the October Guard the way you want to as well. What do you guys think? Bandolier, no bandolier? We'll see how it looks. I don't know if the medic needs a bandolier. He's going to have a... Let's see how tight this is on him. I guess we could put it the other way. Put this going the other way. Too. We could go that route. Pop it off. And we'll put his head on. Oh, okay. Leave it up. All right. We got our medic. There we go. Beautiful. Looking good so far, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We got some pockets. I just kind of want to look. I'm going to take all of this stuff off of him when I put the pockets on. There's not really too many pockets. There's one. And then we got this knife in the sheath and the obvious sidearm. There we go. Let's see hammer pants for the win. MC Hammer Pants for the win. Right there. MC Hammer Pants. <laughs> We're going to do him next. Alright, 
so let's take a look at what he looks like with his regular helmet on. I want to see the fitment. Ooh, that is a nice tight fit. That's a good fit right there. Now I have, if you guys remember, I have a bunch of them. They are downstairs. I have a bunch of the, you guys remember the video game, um, Men at, uh, what was it? Brother in Arms, that video game. Um, I have a bunch of the six inch figures that, uh, what was that toy company? trying to think of the name of that company anyway uh but they made um a bunch of those world war ii figures and they have a bunch of those and all their helmets would constantly pop off but this is a really nice tight firm fitment they did a really good job on that those figures are also that i'm talking about the six inch ones are very old so uh well my character is going to have an m1 grand in my joverse okay cool cool beans Magic Customs, how's it going? Cool stuff. Cool, cool. All right, let's see if I need anything for heating. I don't think so. Right, time to plug my stuff back in. Ah, come on. Okay. It's going good. That's good. All right, let's see what he looks like with him, his backpack plugged in. There we go. That looks pretty darn good for the beginning part. You could, yeah, you could definitely make a Call of Duty uh, universe out of these figures. Absolutely. I mean, you could essentially do what you want with these figures, you know. I'm sure they use the same pins. Let's take a task force figure here. Yep, same pins. If you wanted to swap out these legs and maybe paint them, you could. Or if you want to use just like a regular green guy or black guy, like I said, a black suited uh, guy, same pins. So um, you could pop off the legs and go that route if you wanted to have them look like a little bit more of a throwback. Really excited about this stuff. I can't wait to get the rest of these guys out. If I sound a little bit under the weather, it's just because I'm getting over the cold and I'm, I don't know, I've just been tired all day. Been very tired, young man. Young old man. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna put his gun in his holster. Let's see how well this fits in the holster. Test some stuff out. Oh yeah, it's not coming out. It's a firm fit. Let's see how well this pegs in now. Eh. Yeah, it's not wanting to peg in. And I don't want to glue that. Hmm. I don't want to glue that shut. But it is a shallow peg, so this might have to stay open. That's unfortunate. So this this peg hole, this peg hole, is a bit shallow for this peg, and uh, it does not want to stay in the hole and you're not going to want to glue it or she won't be able to get the pistol out so i guess it'll kind of have to stay open for now until i figure out something else for it That's a nice tight fit for the for the dagger. Looks good. And that's gonna peg in over here. Uh, no, that doesn't look right. 
I don't like the way that looks. I'll peg it in the back. Peg that into the back. And then we'll peg in. Damn it, I wish this peg hole would shut. Stay shut. Because it looks so crisp like this. You know? Hmm. Yeah, it is pushing against the gun. Yeah. Let's see how it does without the gun in it. I gotta use tweezers. You definitely have to use tweezers with this. It stays shut without the, the gun in there, so kind of. You're still going to have to glue it, which is going to pop open. I'll just leave it open. It's not the end of the world. So, um, all right, let's take everything off. I just kind of wanted to show you all what it looked, everything looked like with him on, everything on him. It's not really how I'm going to have it done, but I don't feel like taking his head off. That's why I'm doing it like this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, take his head off. I'm like, I don't feel like taking his head off. So, <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've got our base right here. This is our base. Let's get this loosened up a little bit. Go. Okay. Did I buy that neon green figure? No, I did not. I did not. Uh. Yeah, it's definitely uh, cold and flu is going around. I didn't, luckily I didn't get the flu, thank God. I just had a cold, but I just hate, I hate being sick. So, I'm, everybody hates being sick. I don't know anybody that likes being sick, but. Um, no clasp on the harness this time around. That's a nice change of self. Uh, yeah, no clasps. So, it's all just one piece. So, you got to just disconnect if you want to take the harness off, you just got to disconnect the upper torso from the lower torso. Um, all right, so the backpack is pretty much essentially done. That's done. There's the bandolier there. This is what the, um, the other helmet looks like, the rain gear helmet. There you go. Put this up a little bit. If you can see his eyeballs. Yeah, if they ever do Vietnam figures, I'd like to pick those up as well. Or we'll, 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 World War I would be nice too. You could do like a battlefield setup if you want to. Or just a World War One setup if you want to. I do. I would love to see 19, uh, 1917. It would be fantastic. I think it, lo it looks like a really good movie. So nice change of pace from World War One stuff or World War Two stuff. Excuse me. But all right. So let's get his pockets all set. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can't help myself. I can't. I can't help myself. Um, if you're wondering why, oh, also why the lack of content. I've just been out of town for quite a while, so I was down there moving and shaking, chuking and jiving down there in the South Kakalaki. So, um, all right. So. 
They got everything right down to the shirt, even being a little open a little. Yeah, looks really good. Looks really, really good. It's another close-up in case you guys want to see. He does have the USMC, US Marine Corps, right here. I think that looks really good. Very well done. I mean, if you really wanted to nitpick, I guess you could say, well, it could use a little bit more paint shading going throughout, but that's uh, that's up to you, you know? That's up to the person that owns it to want to customize it even more, so. Uh, but it is nice that they give you all these options and such, so. Uh, these figures do run a little bit higher than the... No, I want to say they actually run a little bit less than the geared up modern guys because the geared up modern guys are like 34 bucks 34.99 i think these were 30 bucks each so just a little fyi in case anybody was inquiring all right now where am i going to put this pocket i think i'm going to put it right there Yeah, so a lot of them come with a weapon. I'm just doing the medic first because I was this and the the wind talker were the two I was really looking forward to the most. The uh, Native American. I should. I yeah. You better do that, Anthony. I already heated this up, so. But I don't want to make a boo boo booby mistake and glue the damn pocket to the damn torso like an idiot. There we go. There's one pocket. Like I said, this is, it's much, you see, look how much more flush this pegged in than some of the earlier Marauder stuff. So they're, you know, they're trying to make things better, you know, that's good. It's a good thing. It's tough with these small plastic pegs, like, you know, one's a soft plastic going into another soft plastic. You know, it's like a, fitting a marshmallow into a keyhole sometimes, you know. How long did it take me to get my order? Well, I, I bought these the two minutes into them going live. Uh, so I got this order really quick, um, within days. Uh, I want to say two or three days tops, um, but uh, the the day this went live, which was the second of January, um, then they started getting flooded with orders. So now there's like a fourteen to a twenty day wait for shipment um, just to get them shipped. So um, it's a little bit of a wait, but I think it's worth the wait. And you know, if you have some patience, you know. Marauders is a good company. You, you, they they always ship when they, when you do get a shipping notification. I've always gotten my shipments within a day or two. So, uh, but they got flooded with orders. I mean, I, you, they're a small company. You also have to understand have an understanding for that too. So, um, they'll come. They will come. I've never not had a a figure come. They've always had. Uh, uh, acted accordingly when it comes to all of my orders, so I don't have any issues with... I've never had an issue with Marauders at all, really. And they always send you a free little thing whenever you make an order or place an order. They send you, like, a helmet or something free like that. But thinking this is how I'm going to go with this. I'm going to glue those other two in. And then uh might just go with the satchel for this I think the bandolier's kind of hindering his arms going down so I think putting the bandolier and the satchel on there is kind of overkill a little bit and then so we'll just we'll use this for somebody else no worries no worries no worries at all but uh and then we're gonna go with the regular helmet I'm gonna put the red cross symbol on the helmet too so that's what we're gonna go with and then we got his gun and we got all of his accessories over here. Whee! And his backpack. But it all looks really good. I'm very pleased with it. And then if you want to have him in rain gear, obviously you could use this. 
It would be cool if they came with like a, like if Marauders got really crazy with it and went with like a, a plastic or like a cloth poncho for them, that would be really cool. That would be really cool. Uh, maybe obviously in the same tone that this is or the same camo that this is. And then to match the, the helmet. That would be cool. I don't know. I could always go to like Joanne Fabrics or like a fabric store. And get like a little bit of like camo or something. Or maybe just gr a lighter green. And then just paint the cloth. Cut a hole on the top. Cut out a, like a square or ri a fringe the, 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 oh my god, spit it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> fringe the uh, cloth and then put it on him and that could be his like poncho. Could go that route as well. All right, I'm going to glue his knife sheath and his holster in. That's the next thing I'm doing. Just going to put a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot. Just a little bit, just a little bit. But yeah, I think you guys will be really stoked for what's coming in next week. I am really excited for next week, what's coming in. So, um, super, 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 super pumped. Put a little bit too much glue on that time. But there we go. That is not going anywhere. It is now perm. Permanent. Permanent. Okay, and then we got. I'm going to put this on the back where it was before. And there we go. Beautiful looking absolutely gorgeous there we go it is done this is the way all right uh, what do i think we'll get from the vietnam kickstarter oh we'll definitely get um we'll definitely get uh obviously asian troops um, we'll definitely get like U.S. troops. Obviously, you'll get um, you know, obviously Asia or Viet Vietnamese. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. You'd get like specific gunners, and you'll probably get like a bazooka trooper and stuff like that trying to think what else probably a radio guy like we have here but obviously everything would be updated you know i'm just waiting for this stuff to dry i know it's probably already dry already so i could just put it on but okay oh my girlfriend sending me photos there we go that looks good that looks good i'll probably in, in the future get some more pouches maybe i'll fill out some of those i don't necessarily have to but uh, I, I could in the future in the future the future do my michael kane impression got a small cock but a huge fucking boner there we go with that. We'll do. <laughs> I wish the next Kickstarter would have future ops. Me too. All right, we do have a lot of the modern stuff. Um, we do have exosuits and stuff, so that's kind of futuristic, but I wish they would go. I know what you mean, though. Like armor and such. But that's what Dark Source is for what joy toys for you know you know i feel like i'm in jerry Maguire. oh my god okay here we go 
If you're wondering why I'm being quiet, it's because I'm getting a sticker out that's super teeny and I have a big sausage fingers and... <laughs> Alright, I'm trying to label this as best as possible. With it being centered, too, on top of that. Oh, Lord. This is not going to end well for me. Anthony, get your shit together, please. Oh, my fingers are so fat. There we go. That's about as close as that's getting. There we go. Now he's also got to have one on his shoulder. I know that. Is that true about Marauder would do it better? Oh wait, that's true. Marauder would do it better. Oh, okay. Uh, hey buddy, does the modern figure leg fit these waists? Okay, we can check that. We'll use... I'm gonna grab one of these guys. Uh, excuse me! Wait, do I have an extra one? I think I have an extra guy. Oh, we got an extra army. I ordered uh, an extra army guy, so we'll use him. Um, and the army guys and the and the marine guys, they have different... I uh, can't see anything. Hold on. I'll get him out. All right, so here we have our marine guy. Here's your army guy. Um, different paint to or different uh, tones for the browns. Um, and then, obviously, we have black boots. And then we have different legs different tooled legs for the pockets and such. And then obviously the torsos are different too. So this is our army guy. My dog keeps farting, which is great. It's gonna be like a Dutch oven in here in a minute. Um, so we'll use, let me heat up his joints first. Okay, so I'm going to take a contract ops leg, and then I'm going to take the other one. Here's contract ops leg. It fits. Oh, Oreo, Jesus. Oh. And then we have... And the, this leg will fit on the Contrap Ops torso as well. Oreo farted, and it's like a Dutch oven in here now. He farted like three times. Jesus. Smell like a bag of ass in here. And then we'll go with this. And we'll pop that on. And it works. There you go. It does work with the modern stuff. So I would I mean I would assume that it would too, you know, not even knowing doing that after doing that, excuse me. But you know what they say about assumptions. Can anybody answer that one right? Which one am I going to say? Am I going to say one or the other one? What do they say about assumptions? Come on, come on. Come on, someone's got it. Someone's got it in their brain. What do they say about assumptions? Who can get it right? Oh, nope, 
Not, not right, Woodman. That's not the one I'm talking about. No, that's not it either, them guts. Which one am I referring to? Which quote? <laughs> makes, no, it's not the makes an ass out of you and me. It's what? What is an assumption? It's the what? Think 90s movie. Think Under Siege. Dark Territory. Not Slammin' Salmon? <laughs> no. Think Dark Siege. Or Dark Siege. Think <laughs> Under Siege Dark Territory. It's the mother of all fuck-ups. That's what the assumption is. <laughs> That's what the assumption is. Opinions, opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got them. All right, so satchel time. Satchel, satchel. We're going to do your satchel -y man, because he's a satchel -y guy. He's a satchel. Must be Canadian if he's a satchel -y man. <laughs> Um, all right, that, and then we're just going to put his, his gun, because I kind of like that being shut. Oh, God, Lord, God, Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay. Ooh, that fits nice and tight. <laughs> Hasbro still hasn't learned from these guys yet. I know, Juggernaut. Uh, and I don't think they're going to because apparently Jazzware now has the rights to the G.I. Joe um, brand. So, if you're expecting more 118th figures, I don't know if that's going to be the, uh, the future here. Hey guys, how's it going buddy? Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's put this in this. I don't even care if this is open still. <laughs> I'm just going to put that in there. And we'll just have to stay open for now. Because I want him to hold his other stuff. Yeah, Jazzwares uh, has the rights to make G.I. Joe figures. Hasbro sold it off. Yep, yep, yep. They certainly did. They said, we don't know what to do with the G.I. Joe brand. Oh, I got an idea. We'll just sell it off because we have no idea what we're doing. We're Hasbro. Yep. That's why I'm sticking to specialty figures at the 118th scale now. I don't, I don't need, I mean, maybe jazz wares will blow my hair back. Well, I don't have any hair, but it'll blow my head off. I don't know, but I can't see that happening. So I will stay pessimistic, unfortunately. <laughs> and then we got his radio here. Yeah. Hasbro has too many old Joe modes and they gave up entirely. Yep, I agree. So, yep, that's, if you're, you were, if you were thinking they were going to come back with a movie, which, I mean, they're still going to make figures, obviously Jazzwares is going to do it now, but if you thought that they were going to come back with a figure line from Hasbro, think again, think again, and he comes with his little crutch, and there's that. I kind of wish that that satchel would open so I could have this, but... I'll just, you know what, we'll just put those in his hand for now. And hold his bandages. Help is on the way, dear! Help is on the way! Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help this. <laughs> couldn't help myself. So there's the medic. 
Action Figure Expert, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, Redeemer. And like I said, guys, if the stream does conk out or freeze up, I will just restart the stream, so you can just rejoin me. Just I'm just leaving that out there in case it does happen, because it has happened in the past. All right, so we're just going to put the rest of this pieces um, away for now. I want this in your hand. Get in your bloody hand. I'm just going to put that there for now. I know he's not holding it right. I just wanted to hold it. Um, but there you go. I can't wait to put this arm sling in a guy. <laughs> I might use that for my extra guy. He'll be like, uh, he'll be like lying down. Like, ah, there goes the medic. <laughs> He'll be lying down here with no head. Be like, I don't think he needs any help, sir. He's got no head. Fortnite figures are a cash grab. The game won't be around for too much longer. All the figures are going to be pe peg warmers. Um, doesn't uh, okay. Oh no, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Um. But yeah, I I I agree. You know, it's <sighs> it's hard to say because I wonder if Fortnite's going to either if they're going to come out with a second Fortnite. I don't know, or maybe they just add on to this Fortnite and just keep it Fortnite. I don't know. I have no idea what they're going to do with that whole thing. Um. I mean, but look at your options. I mean, I, like I get like a lot of people are like, oh no, no Hasbro GI Joe stuff. But look at your options though. We've got Marauders, which I mean, everyone's into now anyway. Um, you have Joy Toy with their Dark Source stuff and their Crossfire stuff and their uh, hardcore Coldplay stuff. And you've got the whole Joy Toy collection to, to, to get your stuff from. If you want futuristic or modern stuff, uh, like I said, you got Marauders. You've got if you like Acid Rain and you're into that type of stuff, you've got Acid Rain. I mean, how, do you really need GI Joe? I don't know um, at this point because I mean you can make your own stuff. I mean to me, what makes things more intriguing is me making my own stuff. Sure, I love GI Joe. Don't get me wrong, but all the all, all the GI Joe stuff I have, like, what else do I need? I can make my own stuff. I can make my own characters. I can buy specialty items from a line like Joy Toy. And they make these awesome mechs, which I am planning on getting. Um, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but you know, everything's more expensive now. It's obviously a specialty item. And uh, I actually don't mind uh, paying a little bit more for them. Because if I'm getting quality, as long as I'm getting the quality, I don't mind the investment, you know? I'm investing my time and and getting these figures and money, so. Um, both the mechs, there's uh, the, the 118th uh, scaled mechs, the blue one and the, the tan one or the beige one or whatever you want to call it. Um, I think one is a the Navy and one is the Ground Troopers one. So, pretty excited for both of those. Even though I think they're just essentially the same mech. So I might just end up getting one. Um, but if you look at it, you know, I mean, Hasbro dropped the ball with... with uh, oh, we're going to move on to the British guy now because I'm just, I'm just sitting here babbling. <laughs> um, you know, they had a chance to course correct and they didn't course correct and now they just gave up completely on the brands i mean i don't to me i'm not gonna put forth more effort into a i'm not gonna put time my time money and effort into a brand that doesn't give a shit about its own product i don't know personally 
I'm not saying I'm never going to buy a Hasbro product, but what I'm saying is um, it doesn't make sense to me if they're not going to... Well, it does make sense to me if they, they did sell off the brand, the toy rights, to somebody else because they don't... Obviously, they don't give a shit, and they have no idea what to do with it. So, I don't know, maybe Chazwares will come out with some amazing stuff. I, I Who knows, you know? Who the hell knows at this point? But anything is better than nothing if you're a G.I. Joe fan. And I get that there's a lot of G.I. Joe fans that are out there and want... Oh, shit. This piece just snapped on me. This piece of the helmet just snapped. I'll have to glue it. It's not a big deal. Um, I get there's a lot of people that want the G.I. Joe. They need that G.I. Joe brand name help them with their day i get it but to me gi joe is what you make of it it's not just a brand name you know just because it doesn't say gi joe does not mean it's not gi joe you know personally that's what i think I can't be, I can't be, I can't be closed-minded. I like variety too much, too, on top of that, so. Um, not saying that anybody's closed-minded, is that what I'm saying, but, you know, to each their own. I get people like different stuff, or they like the same stuff, or whatever, that's been established, but to me, I like all different types. I like the old stuff. I like modern stuff. I like space stuff. I like futuristic stuff. It's all about that variety for me. For me. Uh, lack of Joes give me opportunity to be creative in another line. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know? With vehicles like Battlefield, yeah, that would be cool. Evergreen is the term they use for brands like Barbie and Transformers. They could just let me handle the toy Joe toy line. Joe toy line. Excuse me, I can't talk. Uh, Hasbro. Uh, Rich says Hasbro was great wealth of more unique head sculpts, and I'm sad to see it go. But if they kept it. Wouldn't be surprised if they just crapped out a bunch of 5 POA trash. Yeah, I mean, they already did that in the past with a retaliation line. Um, so, you probably have a point. Uh, they're probably going to make... I'm just going back and reading some comments. They're probably going to go back and make six inch figures while the Hasbro will make three and three quarter inch... Four or three and three quarter inch Joes are supposed to go to... Go evergreen. Hasbro isn't going to sell it off completely. Um, yeah, they'll probably go six inch, but I mean, I don't know. If I, if I was interested in a six inch Joe, which I'm not, uh, I would want Hasbro to do it. I don't want Jazzwares to do it. You know, so. Yeah, you know. I mean, we, I'm pretty sure we all could have had better ideas than the people running the show at Hasbro for G.I. Joe. But, you know. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of passion over there. Just seems like a whole bunch of laziness. So. But, okay, let's get our British guy here. We'll get our British ally here. Oh, it'd be cool to get a Canadian um, soldier as well. My Canadian neighbors up north. Uh, wait, what's going on with Jazzwares and G.I. Joe? Yeah, G.I. Joe, uh, Hasbro has given up the rights to 
their toy line for G.I. Joe to Jazzwares. That's the recent uh, story around the campfire. Who needs Joe when you have all the Disney, Marvel, Star Wars money? Yeah, yeah, well, you know. By 2050, Disney will have bought the entire country of, you know, Bought, bought the U.S. <laughs> Disney. Breaking news. Disney has purchased the rights to the U.S. government. I don't like it when one place owns everything. I don't like it. It bothers me. And I don't care how many people think it's good. I don't like it. It, it it takes away from creativity because then you have a mold to go by when one place owns everything. I don't like it. People lose creativity. They lose structure. They, lo they lose passion. I personally don't like it that Disney is purchasing everything, almost. Uh... Yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't like monopolies. Me no like in the monopoly. All right, so we'll go with, yeah, obviously we're going to go with a harness for this guy. This guy's got a bunch of cool stuff, so I'm done with my little rant there. <laughs> Did you buy your Disney Premium Freedom Plus package only 99 a month? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read this out loud. Did you buy your? <laughs> I gotta say it in a in a specific voice for Rich. <laughs> I'll do it in the salesman voice, or uh, I'll do it in like a strip club DJ voice. Did you buy your Disney Premium Freedom Plus package? Only ninety nine ninety nine a month to have access to law enforcement and firefighters. <laughs> well played, Rich. Uh, we got, we've got what looks to be a stick grenade. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's molded in, which is, I don't really care. That doesn't bother me. Um, but I believe that's a boomstick. It's definitely not a flashlight because there's no light on there. I'm pretty sure that's a boomstick. But it looks really cool, though. Very nicely done. Like I said, I'll have to glue this little piece that came undone right here. That's a British shovel trench tool. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Thank you very much, Buckwild. Hmm. Interesting. I did not know that. Thank you, sir. Here's the backpack. rifle which name that rifle because i don't know i think it's is it a mosin i don't think it's a mosin nagant correct just let me know i i really have been trying harder and harder to learn guns or especially older rifles um Asia x because i'm actually starting to, to shoot I thank my girlfriend for that. <laughs> and then we have canteen. And then we have two pouches, which are similar, so I'm not going to show both. I'll just show the, the one. It's an M1 Grand? No, it can't be an M1 Grand. M1 Grand is this. Oh. Hold on. I have an M1 Grand in here.
Where'd it go? Come on out, you. Where did it go? M1 Grands don't have um, card 98. Thank you. I knew it wasn't M1 Grand because M1 Grands are top loaders. Apparently, I don't have an M1 Grand in here. I was supposed to. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, I was definitely supposed to... The Wind Talker was supposed to come with the M1 Grand, I believe. But he did not. And... Okay. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Not the end of the world, like I said. Not the end of the world at all. So, But I get we got a Car 98. Thank you, Action Figure Addict. Uh, hey, what are your thoughts on the McFarlane DC? Um, I don't, I don't know because, I mean, they look okay. I don't, I don't have any yet. They look okay, though. <laughs> How I know, and knowing is half the, never mind. Um, Ionic, how's it going, man? Okay, so, all right, I've been wasting too much time here. Uh, all right, so we got our torso piece. We've got pouch on the side. I'm pretty sure, wait, do these go? No, this goes over here, like so. I would assume this would go on the side. Um, and then... Put these pouches over here on the back. This backpack is pretty well done. I just hate to put both these pouches here and then this. All that sculpt work is taken away. Any interest in the new McFarland figures? Um, yeah, like I said, I, they, they look interesting. Um... I, I, I'll probably pick up one or two and just to see how they are. Maybe I'll pick up the, uh, the animated Batman and the animated Superman and maybe just the regular soups. Some of the others are like, meh, I don't need a hell bat suit, Batman. Um, and I don't need, uh, some of the sp specific, um, suits that are have come out now this has a hole i'm assuming i'm assuming this has to peg here wait oh no it says two pegs over here wait what the heck yeah this says two pegs it's going to go on the back and then it has a peg hole there so you can peg something Onto that, like a little uh, pouch or whatnot in the future. So, I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more pouches for these World War II guys. Oh, he doesn't come with two fist hands? That's wah, 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 you know? That was kind of the issue I had with the Essentials one. So... It's very odd now. I wonder what's going to happen if, if McFarlane is making the animated figures. What the hell is DC Collectibles going to do? Because they've been making them, you know? It's got me wondering. I am most definitely going to have to pick up some more pockets for these guys. Because he's like bare-assed almost. Well, not bare ass, but you know what I mean. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh. Why you come loose? There we go. There's that. And he's got his little 
satchel piece, which we'll put on the right side for this guy. Put that up. I just want to see what it looked like on there. I kind of wish he had the saluting hand, like this, the top of his head, like, doop, you know. And you could also play Indian in the cupboard if you wanted to. The little Brit British soldier guy. Remember that? Keeping the ones that look actually look cartoons. I think that's a Lee Enfield rifle. That makes more sense too. I have to go get my World War II book. I have a whole like huge awesome World War II book. That I should probably brush up on. But there we go. There's the British soldier. And I'm not trying to rush through it. I'm just trying to. I'm going to glue all this stuff in later. I think. I'm just trying to move on to everything else. Because I don't want to be too long of a stream. You know. It's going to be a long stream already. but Which I don't mind doing. And then let's fit this in there. I should kind of want to make him a lefty. Make him a lefty. There we go. He does have the pistol grip. Oops. Just to give you a look, a look, see. I think that looks great. Looks good for now. So we've got our medic, and there's our ah! There's our chap. All right, we'll move on to what do you guys want? All right, I'll let you choose. We have a wind talker, which is the Native American soldier. Which I'm really stoked for. Um, we have. Oh, I did get a Russian guy. Ah, that's probably what this is. Then I apologize. This is the Russian guy. I think. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the Russian guy. I don't think I got an army guy. I got all Marines. Oh, uh oh, I got a charge. My, my flip flap. On my flim flam. Oops, okay. My, my iPad almost went dead midstream. Uh, <laughs> so I have a, I do have a Russian guy. Here's this whole setup right here. I have a Russian guy, and then I have three other Marines. I have the Bar Gunner. I have a Flamethrower. And I have a the Wind Talker. So Wind Talker, Russian. Um, flamethrower. Bar Gunner, you choose. I'm really stoked for the, uh, personally, I'm really stoked for the Native American. But if you, you guys do want to see the Russian, Wind Talker, Wind Talker. The one I dressed up as the British one is the Russian one? Shut up. Really? Am I that dense? I'm that dense, aren't I? I am that dense. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, you guys get me so excited. <laughs> Watch how fast I do this. I could have swore that. Oh, it does make more sense that he would have. would have this body instead okay that makes a lot of sense then okay i'll switch it no worries my my mistake my sorry i'm sorry
But thanks for pointing that out. Who was that? Snow Serpent. Thank you. Thank you, Snow Serpent. It, it does make more sense now that uh, with the, the kind of how they have has a little bit of the, the tunic right here. Um, and then the boots. So it does make sense. Makes sense. So thank everybody. Thank uh, give Snow Serpent. Um, okay, uh, I'll say thank you to him. So thumbs up to Snow Serpent. Appreciate it. Yeah, that looks. That actually does look a lot better now. That I'm <laughs> got to get my head out of my ass. Get your head out of your tookish, Anthony. But if you needed a reference for what the Russian body would look like <laughs> with other gear on it, there you go. Pockets oh. falling off again. Same pocket. Oh, Mr. Bucket. Buckets of fun. There you go. Oh, hat fell off again. British had more of a brown uniform than two. Okay, that makes sense. Does make sense. I fixed it. it. God damn it, stop falling. I like that the little stands are different from each other so like this is kind of like a like a wooden stand like it's got or cobblestone excuse me cobblestone and then this one is like sand so that's cool there we go that looks better <laughs> Okay, so now we'll get our Russian guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So did you guys want uh, the Wind Talker or the Russian? Or did you guys want the Flamethrower or the Bar Gunner? I'll leave it all up to you. Yeah, much better. Exactly. Much, much better. I agree, Hall and Bricks. I agree. All right, we're going, nobody voted, so we're going to go with, we'll keep the theme going. Uh, uh, uh. We got an American, we have a British gentleman, and now we're going to do a Russian. And he also comes with a different colored stand, so pretty cool. So here's our Russian body. Long time no see, huh? <laughs> and then we'll put on, here is all of his stuff. I'm going to get these two out of the way in a second. So I can focus on this. Where does this go? Just trying to figure everything out. Ooh, the Russian head looks really cool. Almost looks like a, almost be like a German head. Flamethrower with a British Indian Russian body. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, so we'll get these two out of the way just for now. They're going to take a break together. Go have some R&R. &R. Go have a MRE. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's put all this stuff away. 
upgrade everything. No, that's modern stuff happening. That, that. Okay, we'll just put everything in one bag. Call it a day. Okay, there we go. So now we have our Russian body. <laughs> and then we have a Russian harness. You can see the star right there. We then have the Russian head we'll be using. We call him uh, Boris. Boris Glishingo. Anybody know that name? What's that name from? Huh? 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 Boris Glishingo. Put them on the stand. No guesses? What is Gleeson go? He also comes with a belt. And a shovel. Hold on, let me get the shovel. <laughs> Actually quite done with the paint apps on the shovel. I can really see that... Uh, Nice paint for the wood handle and the metal on the pouch looks really good and it just plugs right into the backpack. Backpack looks really nice and unique as well. Nice painted straps, the pockets, and a hole on each side. So very nicely done with the backpack. And then we have another big pocket. And then we have another pocket, which I will show both. Come on. I think this is similar to the British pocket that we saw on the back. Oh yeah, plastics always fluctuate every year. It's always at the end of the year that they go down a little bit. And this is actually a different pocket. It's not the same as the British guy. So just to compare that, in case anybody was wondering. So it is not the same pocket. And it does fit under the backpack, but this piece right here on the side sticking out does get in the way. So you might not want to use that for that. You can probably use that on a belt, a bigger pocket. Uh, and then we have this piece, so somebody help me out with this. Let's go across the shoulder. Help. <laughs> they definitely did a lot of research because a bedroll. Where does it go though? Go on his backpack or across his chest and then we have his gun which I'm assembling right now across his chest okay that's what I figured I was just like it's so bulky Ah! There we go. There we go. Looks 
looks good. Set that right there. Across the chest. I want to say that would just doesn't seem right. Yikes. It is a pliable plastic, so you can shape it. But I'm just not sure what to do with that just yet. So we'll come back to it. We will come back to it. And then he's got his own dagger, which is specific. I actually have a World War II, an official World War II bayonet. And here's his sheath for... That bayonet. There we go. And I think I'm going to put his. No. There's that. And we have another pouch, and then I'll show you the helmet. Pouch. And a helmet. And what I'm going to give him, a hat. Now, I wanted to make him into a... I wanted to make him into a tank driver or operator. I could go with this hat, which I ordered two of them, which is a helmet, I think, technically. Here we go. And that also has a red star on it, which looks pretty cool. So I could go that route as well. Let's just see what he looks like with his hand on his head. Looks pretty cool. Take that off and then we'll put this one on. That looks cool as well. Very nicely done. DPM machine gun. Horror shows helmet. They both look pretty cool. I think I might stick with that just for now. That looks pretty cool. I have a little baggie sticking to my arm. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Who can tell me what gun what fictional gun is this based off of? <coughs> Excuse me. Know the answer, you get five gold stars. All right. Okay, we'll put that aside. That was the freebie. 
that side too. I'm not going to use the helmet. All right, so anybody know where to put this? I should probably go on their website and look at or look at some sort of uh, Google an image. So I don't sound like a damn fool. But I was so excited to get this live stream going that I did not do any of my homework. So I'm not prepared for class today. But the rest is going to go on his harness here. So we're going to get this on the back of him. His trench shovel and tools. So we're going to move that gun out of the way. Uh, the canteen, put the canteen on the back too, Ooh, we can put it on the, can we put it on that without that getting in the way? Eh, I'll put it on his harness, fill things up a little bit more, there we go, it's kind of sticking out a lot, but I can trim that peg down. And then on the side here, we'll do some of this. Yeah. done and then we'll go with this over here Try and do this without taking it off for a purpose. To see how much I have to trim off. Because I want to glue all this in. I'll take this off before I snap something like an idiot. There we go. And there it goes. Put this on the front just so it evens everything out so it just looks a little bit better. There we go. That looks a little bit better. So it's a little bit more filled out. There's not holes in the front of him. And then his backpack. This is actually, this is featured in Star Wars. It's what the Sand Troopers use. It's what the Sand Troopers uh, gun is based off of. Oh, he takes a spill. Um, so, what I do with this? <laughs> I have no idea. 
I'll have to look into what this, where this goes. I, I'm assuming it does go across his chest, but it is quite rather bulky. And maybe it goes around the backpack. I don't know. So we'll put that there. Let's get this gun. Nothing's glued in, so if a bunch of stuff falls out, you'll know why. Uh, let's get this back in there. Yeah, I don't know either. And I don't want to say it's something else and it's not that, you know. I don't want to give the false information. Oh, shit. I'm dropping shit all over the place. <sighs> Get in your hole. Well, fuck me standing. There we go. And we'll put this back in the back. I'm also going to have to look up specifics. That's also why I'm not gluing anything in. Everything keeps falling out because I want to look up accuracy for these guys. That pig broke. Oops. Probably because I'm soft fingering. Sausage fingers, <laughs> but I still think he looks pretty good. So, um, for now, get that out of the way. Get this out of the way. Let's get his gun in his hand. Oh, for God's sake! This Russian is just not. You're not cooperating. Now I gotta glue your gun because you're. I gotta wait for that to dry. So get him going for now. He's gonna be work. We'll put him over there. We'll put the Englishman over there. Wait for that to dry. And now we're going to move on. Um, it's not going well. <laughs> I know, right? Um, yeah, just a little bit more work. I'm going to glue everything in in a little bit. I just kind of want to show everybody. And I know this is taking a little bit longer, but I said it was going to be a longer stream anyway. So next up, we'll do the Wind Talker because I'm really excited for him. All right, now he does have a different skin tone. So let me check my skin tones here because I don't want to give him the wrong skin tone. I believe this is him right here. Get that out of the way, get that out of the way. Got bags everywhere. Holy Toledo. All right, so these guys are lighter tone. This is definitely what I need right here. Perfect. So here's the lighter tone body, and here's the darker tone body for the Native Americans. And we'll put him right there. For some odd reason, he does not come with a display stand. All the others did. Which is odd. Oh no, he does. Never mind. He does come with a display stand. I retract my previous statement. Okay, Wind Talker. Okay, he does come with very similar stuff to the. Oh no, he does. Yeah, some stuff that is similar to the um, medic that we've seen, like the backpack and then the harness belt the head does look different the rain gear for the backpack we'll just go ahead and put that on right now since I already showed how to put that on before I want to assume that that big piece 
Maybe it goes around the backpack. Because it is, a, like I said, it is a pliable plastic, so you can squish it. I don't know. We'll come back to that. I don't want to get sidetracked. It does come with a satchel with the U.S. logo on it. Um, he does come with a canteen, which I showed before, with the medic. Bandolier. A scrubble. Little pouch. And the other pouches that he comes with are these ammo pouches. So that's not what the medic came with, which is pretty cool. So a little differentiation between those. He also comes with a knife, which is the same knife that the medic came with, and a sheath for that knife. And he comes with, I believe this is a, now correct me if I'm wrong, please do correct me, I don't mind being corrected. Um, this looks like a German rifle, or assault rifle to me. Please correct me if I'm wrong here. But it looks very German to me. But that's what he came with. M3 Grease gun? Is that a German gun? I thought it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know, though. I do not know. Alright, so I'm just going to assemble his backpack now. Get that out of the way. And then he does come with his pack as well. No, you might not actually need a backpack for him if you have this. Nope, the grease gun was American. Okay, thank you. Thanks, guys, for the, for the info. I appreciate it. I think I actually remember the... Uh, bridge bridge on the River Kwai, um, somebody having a grease gun for that. Pretty sure I remember seeing somebody with a grease gun in that movie. Uh, the Dirty Dozen, I also remember seeing a grease gun for that. For, for some reason, just the design, I don't know why, it just looks very German to me. It just does. But still pretty cool. I'm, I'm glad that he comes with some variety. Yeah, the radio looks really sweet with the telephone attached to it and everything. And here's the antenna. And you can swivel this antenna. So it is articulate. So there's that. Steve McQueen used one. And hell is for heroes. Okay, that makes sense. Americans used cheap, mass-produced SMGs widely um, during the war due to the Thompson vein too expensive. Makes sense. Thank you, Byron. Thanks for the info, bud. Okay, let's get um, let's get his harness on. Harness on. It's a good looking harness. It's a really good looking harness. I wonder what they did here. Could make an old G dial tone with that, sure. If you wanted to make a modern dial tone, you could use the Pursuit of Cobra um, backpack that came with. Um, 
the fuck is his name? What's wrong with me? Oh my god, I can't think of anybody's name. My brain has stopped functioning. Thinking of every name but his name. It's driving me nuts. I just completely brain farted. Ricondo. My God, my brain. Could use the backpack that came with Ricondo for a modern dial tone if you wanted to. Okay, so let's get his head on. Head looks pretty cool. Does the upper body fit the modern waist? I'll check. Yeah, come on. Let me find a body that's that I'm not using. Oh, um, any parts. Where's all my modern bodies go? Oh boy. Stuff, shush stuff. Stick that over there, so I'm not gonna do it anymore. Uh, where is the modern body? There we go. Okay. I'm trying not to bump Oreo while I'm moving around. Right behind me. Okay. All right. We'll use Doc. We'll use my Doc. As a. Uh, there we go. And the verdict is. It's not looking good. Action figures for yes, some. That. No, it's not working. not working yeah I don't want to snap the peg either let me heat this up it's free to heat let me see No, they're not going to fit. Nope. This is too deep. It's not going to fit. Let's see if the legs fit on the modern torso, though. They do, but it's like kind of wiggly. Well, I guess it's not too bad. It's a little wiggly, though. The legs do. Torsos do not work with the modern leg, so. Yeah, I even heated this up. No problem. If you guys have any more questions while I'm doing this, I don't hesitate to ask. I have no problem helping. Doc will be our, I'll just keep him right here in case you guys have any more questions. All right, so we got the head on, got that on, that's on. Uh, I think we'll go with this. Now, here's the head. Oh, he's, like, waving at you. Here's the head. I think the head looks really nice. It's kind of looking up in the sky, but for a new head sculpt, I think it looks pretty cool. Looks cool though. I was hoping for the t-shirt uppers. Uh, t-shirts. Uh, where are my t-shirt guys? Let me check for you. I have t-shirt people all over the place. Hold on. Uh, 
t-shirt, 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 here is a t-shirt, I want a t-shirt, that's not a t-shirt, I want a t-shirt, um, where did they go, they in here, Well, I don't know where all my t-shirts went. Uh, let me check this. Maybe it's in this. Bear with me here. I'll put him in here so you're not staring at nothing. Uh, going to be a t-shirt guy in here. Let's just see this box is just shit I'm going through. My lord. My lord. My blord. You probably use some stuff off of Red Star. Headless Red Star right there. Uh, where do all my t-shirt guys go? I bet you I put them all away because I'm packing to leave. Yep. I think I put them all away. Oh, I have a t-shirt guy right here. <laughs> Such an idiot. Let me take his head off. Take this off. As much as I love War II figures and Lego, it empties your wallet faster than Wall Street crash in 29. <laughs> I know, right? All right, so here is the t-shirts. They fit. They're kind of loose. But they will work. If you use a little bit of sticky tack, it'll soften it up. Obviously, you might not want to use it. You can actually remove this. Let me just take that off. Um, but it does look a little funky like this. And as you can see, it's it's rather loose on here. It's like he's... Um, yeah, it's kind of loose on there. It doesn't look really that great with the. Uh, might look better with an army guy if you have an army guy. Um, I mean, it'll still work if you use some sticky tack on the inside. It'll tighten it up a lot easier. You could still go with it though if you wanted to. It might actually work better with the British soldier. So let's try that really quick. Just take his backpack off go. Oop, helmet too. Let's try Mr. British. There we go. This might actually look a lot better. Okay. Oop, see how it's a little loose? A little sticky tack should fix that though. So, there you go. In case you were wondering. All right, I'll just leave him out in case anybody else has any more questions, comments, concerns. There we go. Over there, sir. Private rubber spine reporting for duty, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I still think you could make that T-shirt work if you really if you really wanted to. Just gotta, um, like I said, use some sticky tack on it. Let's see if um, oh shit, dropping stuff. Sorry. Uh, let's see what a custom head looks like on a Marine Corps body. There you go. Custom head on a Marine Corps body looks pretty good. Next a little long, but you can use a scarf and that'll cover up the illusion of the long neck. Or give the illusion that he does not have a long neck. Excuse me, a baking powder. Um, or if you want to give the Russian guy that head, 
we can go, go that route as well. Let's see what the Russian guy looks like with this custom head. Come on, buddy. Come on. Off with you. There you go. Russian guy. Russian guy with a hat on. Why I don't get why all the parts aren't compatible within their own brand? Um, I think it's due to uh, different tooling each time. Um, it is kind of tough to... I mean, even within, what was it, G.I. Joe figures, it, not all of them are compatible leg to leg. If you go, like, um, if you're looking for, like, to take one leg off of a Joe for maybe a... An earlier line um, the tooling changed throughout the years so I mean it makes sense it's just progression throughout tooling it happens and these are also specialty so I'm not trying to use that as an excuse every time but um, it does make sense as far as the tooling per so it makes kind of each when they each come out with a wave kind of makes them unique on their own um you can still make it work like i said it's just a little loose if you use a little bit of sticky tack like this stuff that i use this blue tack stuff i got off of amazon i think it was like 10 bucks um that'll work you only need a little bit of it and it stays forever, so. Okay, so continuing. I'm not going to use the satchel, so that's going to go away. I'm probably not using this backpack, so that can go away. He's going to have this backpack on. She wouldn't be the wind talker. And then we're going to go with This right here, and this right here. Come on. It's called a purse. <laughs> there we go. Now go with those. And then this is, we're going to go with the bandolier for him, because I think it'll look nice. There goes that and that. I just want to see what those look like. Anyway. That. Not that. That's all the pegging and everything. All right. Well, we'll come back to those. And put that backpack on. There we go. And then we do have our. Knife and the sheath. Now we're going to put that on this side. Oh boy, these guys are fighting me tonight. I know, I should, probably should have taken the knife out and then popped it in, but I just want to give an idea of what he's going to look like. I know as soon as I push this in, another one's going to fall out. Well, maybe not. Got lucky. Got lucky. We'll put his helmet on. And he is set to go. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Can't win, you know? Can't win. There we go. And then this gun in his hand, touch his finger that a little bit, come on buddy, come on 
buddy. There you go, buddy. Kind of wish I could play music while doing this. Because I would if I could. But I can't because YouTube's shitty. YouTube sucks. Alright, we're just not going to diddle with that right now. Alright, I know he looks super hyper generic pose right now. I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what he does look like with all his stuff on there. And then I'm going to glue everything at the very, very, very end. Um... Plug your stuff back in, Anthony. I keep forgetting to charge my iPad while I'm doing this. Battery at 10%. Uh, yeah, I think he might be my favorite so far, but there's still a flamethrower and the bar gunner to go. So I would bet that a different company designs design these other than Vitruvian Hacks guys. Yeah, you can still use Vitruvian Hacks stuff with uh, these guys as well. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, would you agree that 2092200 Tiki U10 is Hasbro's best year for 4 inch? I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's up, Strident? <laughs> Goongala! <laughs> What's up, man? So that's the Wind Talker. Like I said, I'm going to glue everything at the end. But that's what he looks like, essentially. Why am I Why am I doing all this? I'm doing too much right now. There we go. Just give him a swivel and leave it at that. Right, we'll probably use this backpack for somebody else. But we'll move on to the Bar Gunner. Let me just give you an idea of what everybody looks like so far. Keep turning you. Don't you talk back. Uh, so this and that. And then we got the British, British mates right here. Okay. And we got our Russian man right here. And we got our medic right there. So far, that's what we got. Got two more. Flamethrower, bar gunner. Not my bag, but they're looking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Um... Do these World War II head fits with other Marauders figures? Oh, uh, they should. I will show you. If I dare, they do not. Here's a new one. I believe this is the Bar Gunner head. We'll do Flamethrower next. Uh, they are a tight fit. Oof. The pegs on these guys are really got to heat up, but they do fit. So, yep, they're all compatible with all the other Marauder stuff. Um, they're also compatible with G.I. Joe stuff. So if you want to use these heads for a G.I. Joe um, or a G.I. Joe body, you can. Um, some peg holes will be looser on different bodies depending on the year of that body, the style of that body, uh, for the G.I. Joe bodies, uh, but these will fit all the Marauders figures hands down. So, uh, okay, so let's cut this shit out. Okay, now you take five, you take ten. You take 20, or actually I should say you, fuck off. There we go. And then you take 20. There we go. 
Okay, anyway. All right, moving on. We're going to do the... Oh, yeah, I just happened to grab the flamethrower, so that's what we're doing. All right, so we got that. We'll put you... Wait, is this yours? That's yours. Okay, wait. That's... No, that's yours. Oh, God, I'm screwing this up already. All right, so the next one we're going to do is the flamethrower. So I've got the flamethrower right there. Get his stand on his feet. And they all come with display stands, which is really nice. And like I said, the detail on these guys is a little bit more than your regular Marauder stuff. Um, and then we'll use, okay, so we got that, that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go through the, the, I already went through the backpack stuff, so this is pretty much what the backpack, ah! looks like when it's all assembled. This is what it looks like when it's not assembled. So, there's that for you. So we're just gonna use that backpack for him. Or actually, we don't need a backpack for him. He's gonna get a goddamn flamethrower. What the hell am I talking about? All right, we're gonna put the backpack away. We don't need the, sh actually we could use the shovel on his pouch. That's what we'll do. We'll use the harness, correctamundo. Or should we use a belt this time? We haven't used a belt yet. I agree, Strident. I don't think Hasbro can top anything that Joy Toy or Marauders is doing. I don't think they have a... I, I think they're dead, dead in the water. That's why they're like, Hey, Jazzwares, here. Here you go. You can have that. I'm at it. We don't know what we're doing anymore. Give up. I'm tapping out. Tapping out. Okay, so he comes with essentially the same stuff for the most part. He comes with a sidearm, which is actually black this time instead of red. Um, he comes with the same 1911 that the medic came with. He also comes with the same pouches for his backpack, but we're going to use these pouches on his belt. Um, let's see. Does this flamethrower come with a... All right, so we'll use a harness on him again. We'll use a harness because you're going to want to... Ha ha la 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 la. You're going to want to be able to talk correctly if you can do a video, Anthony. Um, but secondly, you're going to want a harness if you've got a flamethrower because you've got something to strap it on to. That sounded sexual, I know. Um, okay, anyway, moving on. You're going to want to harness if you want to strap on. Yeah, I know, there's a lot wrong with me. Okay, so the flamethrower, you got your tank. Here's your tank. They even did a really good job with the brass fittings right here. Look at that. That look good. That look good right there. That look good. All right, so. Uh, we got a hose. There's no hose here. Stop shaming, Anthony. Uh, we've got the pistol. And we've got a flame effect. Ooh, how pretty. Flame effect burn. Well, burn me down. All right, so we'll put the backpack away. Put this away. Put that away. Before shit starts getting lost. Bye. Goodbye. I need that head. I don't need that. All right, so that. That, 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 and a cooler. Someone has to make an... Bonnie heard me. It's delayed custom. I have spoken. <laughs> this is the way. This is the way. Um, I concur. Do you, do you concur? I concur. Why? God damn it, why didn't I just concur? Oh, fuck. Oh, 
my God, my head is so stiff. This head. Not the other head. Get your mind out of the gutter. How dare you. Ah. Jazzwares are good at self-destructing when looked at funny. <laughs> So we're going to put his shovel on his harness, because that's what I'm going to do. We're then going to put his, come on, you little nerd. Oh, God, here we go. Actually, oh, oh my God, that stinky. Oh, God, I'm bumping into everything now. All right, so for the backpack, you just insert into the brass fitting. Wiggle it in there. Just, just get it in there. Nice and greased up. Mm. Just really nice. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> then you want to just take... You want to take this part right here. Okay. Just want to squeeze it in there. Just ease it. Ease it in. Don't force it. If you need a little bit of lube, just lube it up. Just ease it in there. yourself a little thrower of flames and just ease this in there too don't forget the lube just swivel it just swivel it in ease it and swivel it you're easing and swiveling don't forget the motion okay anyway <laughs> all right <laughs> moving on from that. Can get your little helmet on your head. You got your little helmet. Oh, he's so handsome. Voice acting needs some work. Um, is that a challenge? Do a really good joker. Or so I've been told. Um, anyway, we'll do that's for, that's a story for another time. Um, let's see. Oh, God damn it. There we go. Okay. So, put this body over there with the bar gunner. All right, so, we have our flamethrower here. Yeah. Ease it. Ease it. Oh, yeah. You like me rolling the dice right there? Hot water my ass. <laughs> there we go. I want to say this is very similar. Now, you can glue all this. I would suggest that you probably glue that and then glue that. Um, and this is a plastic piece. It's not rubber. So you don't have to worry about that uh, breaking down over time. On your little medulla oblongata. He's so he's so stiff. God damn it! Oh, there goes your goddamn helmet. God dang it! Come on, work with me, not against me, please. Working with me. Come on. That's gonna happen like that. This is gonna happen like this. I gotta, uh, everything's so tight. Come on, buddy. Get your little finger in your hole. I kind of wish that his, this hand would kick out. 
it would make things a lot easier on me instead of having the pistol grip. Because they both have pistol grips right here and right here. <laughs> this is riveting stuff seeing me struggle. <laughs> seeing me snuggle. Come on. Just got to work it. Just keep working it. There we go. It looks really funky like this. Uh, this elbow can't bend any more than this, so we're just gonna, we're gonna just pretend. We're gonna, we're gonna attend. We're gonna attend. There we go, that's a little bit better. You're supposed to shoot from the, kind of shoot from the hip anyway, with a flamethrower, the goddamn flamethrower, this guy, see? Just gotta keep working it, that's all. There we go. What do you know? Billy Joe, Armstrong, I don't know, and then bend in there like that, that, get this on here, like so, and what do you know, Joe, what do you know, all right, so there's that, there's your flamethrower, you gotta put your pockets in, we're gonna glue all that stuff in at the end. Uh, where did your, there we go, I gotta get this, I wanna get this all set up. Uh, and if you wanted to make, a custom of, uh, whatchamacallit, Leonardo DiCaprio's character <laughs> in, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood with the flamethrower, you could, I guess. But uh, there you go with the flamethrower. Let's get his head up so you can see his eyeballs. Looks good. Burn you up some Nazis. Oh, okay. What are we at? 147 minutes? Oh, we're early. All right, we got uh, one energy drink done. <laughs> Bye, up time. There goes that. <laughs> All right, so there's the flamethrower, and like I said, he's only got other couple, a couple other pouches. Where'd his? Uh, oh, there we go. So I'm just going to show you really quick what else I'm going to include on him, and then I'll include it in the in the uh, very end. Um, we've got the shovel. We've got a pouch. Uh, we got a canteen. Another pouch. The his pistol, and his knife. So that's what we're going to include with him at the very end. I'm just going to put everything back in a bag so nothing gets lost. And that's the flamethrower, pretty much, in a nutshell. So let's move him aside. And then we'll come back with the bar gunner. And then we're going to glue everything else in. The only one I don't have to glue in is the medic, because we did that in the beginning. So here we go. Last guy. Last gentleman. And this is the bar gunner. Get that flame out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We've got the bar gun. I might make him a little bit more... Should we go belt or harness for this guy? I think I'm feeling the belt. I don't know. I feel like harness makes a lot more sense though for him. It's a heavy gunner. All right, so here's the the bar gun. Now I do want to warrant a little bit of a warning here when putting these bipods on. Just a little bit of a belt with a pistol. What's up, Craig? How's it going? Um, the 
this is a hard plastic right here. These prongs on each side are a hard plastic. And then this is a harder plastic right here. So just be careful. My, nothing's broken on mine, but just be careful when you're pegging this in. And I need to take my own advice and be careful too. But there we go. That's what it looks like with the bipod in. There's the bipod down. But it is a tight fit, just to point that out. As you can see, the plastic is bowing out a little bit. Let me see if I can get a, uh, you know, it's, it's, in the, it's in the holes the way it's supposed to be. So there's your bar gun. Looks good. I like the, the brown and the, the gray, gray uh, bleh, the gunmetal gray. Good Lord, can't talk. Um, now this guy comes with uh, his own kind of pouches as well, which is different from the Wind Talkers pouches. He came with uh, submachine gun extra ammunition pouches. This guy comes with, uh, obviously, those ma uh, mags. So, pretty cool. I like the uh, individual nature of him. So, um, we'll go with guy's probably going to sport a backpack. So I already have one done. And he comes with the same backpack material, same satchel as everybody else. So we'll give him this already completed backpack. We'll give him that. And then we'll put the rest of the pieces that we're not going to use away so they don't get lost. And all that jazz. And all that jazz. And we're probably going to give him a bandolier. Why not? Why the f not? And he's definitely getting the hat. Now, the bar cunner, the bar, bar cunner? What the heck's a bar cunner? The bar gunner, if I can talk, comes with this hat. Blue! With the marine logo on it. Looks really good. I like it quite a bit. There you go. <laughs> and then for the head, it comes with the blonde guy. Angry blonde man. So, there you go with the head. Get the head on the body. He also comes with a helmet, too, so if you didn't want to have him with the hat on, um, this is what he looks like with the hat on. And you can just lift that up if you want to. Marine logo on there, USMC Marine logo on the pocket, so. There we go. With that, um, hmm. Let's see what he looks like with just the belt on. Let's see what he looks like. I'm leaning harness. But we'll get him going with the, just the belt. I think it makes more sense to have the harness on if he's got a backpack. So you get these gappage issues right here in the back. There's that. And then... Uh, get him with the... Get your hat, take your hat off, stupid. that and this is what it'll look like with 
all this stuff on. Now, one uh, Internet Marine logo on the half is awesome. Yeah, looks good. Looking good. I'm going back. Sorry, I missed a bunch of comments. <laughs> your voice acting skills are just fine. Need to work on your forcing the hose in. <laughs> Big flanges and little pieces don't mix. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We'll go with this right here. Or should we go with this over here? In the front now. Uh, let's get the backpack off. Stuff's already falling off of that. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Now this is very, very reminiscent to those six-inch figures I was talking about, the World War II ones from back in the day, where they had one peg, and then you would clip it on like this, and then it would just kind of sit like so. But kind of want to put it in the side like that so then it looks better like that and then you want to put this over here so they kind of line up with each other they kind of sit like they should on a belt so that's what you want to do with those oh you're you're going to be a little asshole aren't you If you're a stiff joint, just push in on the joint and then don't ever pull down. Pull straight down until you snap a joint off. But if you push in, the joint will rotate. Anyway, that's what that's going to look like. I think I'm going to keep the belt. I like the belt. I like just the belt with him. I think that looks good. Get the backpack, get that satchel out of here, get the harness out of here, get the helmet out of here. These stupid dime bags out of here <laughs> I think that looks pretty damn good like that and then he's got the rest of his stuff on here his backpack and that's going to be the bar gunner right there that's going to be that he doesn't really need much else his knife will go on his back when I Plug that in. Let's get his hand, gun in his hand. Let's get this off. These pockets are going to fall off. I know it. I can feel it. Get his hat off his head so I can maneuver him. Put this bipod back. Uh, Oops. Come on, buddy. Put your hand in there. There we go. That's what I wanted. Get your arm up. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. You can do it. Um, there's a little bit of hindrance right here that I'm noticing. There's my pointer. Right here in the bend for the elbow, that's about maxed out right there. So if you're trying to get him to grip it. I kind of wish this would go in about there. That would be better. But as you can see, there's a little bit of resistance right there. And resistance is futile. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> futile. Wouldn't it be futile? Yes, it would. Um, so we'll just play around. This. And we'll give him, oh, there we go. The wrist just flew. Come on, bud. Come on, little shit. Right, I'll go with that. And we'll just have him kind of relaxed.
doesn't look right. That doesn't look natural. It looks ridiculous. Um, kind of wish maybe his sleeves were rolled up. Maybe they'll introduce uh, rolled up sleeves later. I'm not feeling this range of motion right here. The pistol gripping hand is maxed out going down. I can't go down any further on it. So we'll just have him shooting from the hip. Stretch this hand out a little bit. Get this hand gripped first. And then we'll work the other hand in. Up. Turn your head. Turn your head. There we go. Sorry, I'm just kind of working everything. Everything's very stiff still. I still do have to use a lot of heat with this guy. I'm just trying to get uh, him into a regular stance. That's all. So you guys can see what he looks like all finished. And we'll get that in. We'll plug that in. Plug this into the front right here. This is what he's going to look like. He's all done. Here we go. That looks better, doesn't it? I wonder what a Walmart thinks when someone at Marauders buys all the Coke. Baggies <laughs> says the Walmart. <laughs> Probably normal. <laughs> yeah, it, it is Walmart, so. Finger looks like it's going to break. Nah, that's rubber. These uh, All these fingers are rubbery plastic. That's not going to snap off. If this was a hard plastic, I wouldn't even try that. But this is all rubbery plastic. It's not going to break. All right, so we got our wind talker. Let's get them all up here. I'll we'll take a look at all our friends here. We got our Englishman, which I had him on the wrong body initially. <laughs> we have our medic. And we have, oh wait, his gun is done. I can put it in his hand. Get his gun in. All of his stuff's going to fall out. I know it. So I'm just going to put this in his hand as easy as I possibly can without all this shit falling out. Oh, God, please. You know fallout. There we go. Ah! There it goes. Come on. Get back in there. Ah, oh, one, one goes in, the other one falls out. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Come on. You little nerd. There we go. All right, it's a really shitty pose for the the Russian, but oh, come on, at least lean back. There we go. All right, so we got all our guys up here, and we're gonna do a little rotations. We're gonna back the camera up so we can get a good look at them and not a shit look at them. And then we're gonna glue. We're gonna glue, glue, glue. Glue, glue, glue. Right, okay. And there we go. There's the World War II guys. All as geared up as I possibly can get them. Um, oh, i got to put that pouch back the other way on that Russian guy. Oops. Got to love that rubbery finger action. Uh, thank you. Thanks, Woodman. I like the Japanese figures, but the Germans give more variety for troop building. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I agree, Craig. Um, I definitely want to get some of the um, the Japanese figures and some of the Germans, but I think I'm going to save the Axis powers for next time. Oh, wait, I'm missing a guy. Ha! Huh, I'm so stupid. I'm a so stupid. No, stop rotating. Got a better damn flamethrower. What am I doing? 
All right, let's get him over here. Come on in, buddy. Plenty of room. There we go. Perfect. Perfections. Perfection, perfection. There we go. Now the whole cast is here. <laughs> Almost forgot about the damn flamethrower. Uh, the the heads look pretty cool. There's a little bit of variety there with the Wind Talker, the Englishman, and I want to say the Medic. The rest of the, oh no, the Russian guy too. Um, the Flamethrower, the Medic, and the, I believe, I want to say... Well, I guess his face does look a little bit different. Some of them look a little bit similar to each other. But the Englishman, the Russian, and the Windtalker are different from each other and the other two. Those two look the same. Uh, this guy looks a little bit different, maybe. It could be the same, just the, the hair color is different. Uh, but Marauders does do that. Um... Sergeant Rock and the gang. Yeah, you could definitely make a Sergeant Rock figure out of these easily. So, but, um, yeah, I think this is a, a really nice, solid line. If you're a World War II uh, aficionado or fan or um, historian, whatever, um, I think you'll like this line quite a bit. Um, if you're a uh, Call of Duty, whether it's the original Call of Duty or World at War, I think you'll appreciate this line as well, or Call of Duty fan in general. Um, I think you would like the the, right, the modern Marauders as well. Um, outside of that, I don't know how many people this will entice. Um, obviously, I can enjoy these. I think they look great. They're a lot of fun. I can't wait to get all this stuff glued in and and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased. I think my favorite out of the bunch is, uh, oh, man, this is tough. They all, I, I think it's between the Wind Talker and the Medic. Because the Medic comes with so much cool stuff, and the Wind Talker is so unique. Um, I like that you get variety with each, like the... Obviously, the Russian gets his own set of gear, and everything looks different. I like that the medic comes with the stretcher, and the arm sling, and the neck brace, and the crutch. And you get extra medic stickers in case you want to make somebody else a medic. Um, you get a satchel. Obviously, you get the the walkie-talkie right here, or the not the walkie-talkie, um, but you get this little piece right here. I think that's a, I think that's a walkie-talkie. Um, and then you also get the, the, um, IV. That's really cool. So, I mean, if you're going to make a, the IV is really well done. Let me just show you the IV again in case anybody missed that. The IV looks really well done. It's all red and crimson due to the blood and giving off the illusion that there's blood in there. Um, you would have, it, I mean, if you did want to do a setup, you'd probably have to have at least one other guy with your medic kind of holding this IV up in the air because that's what you would have to do while you're transporting someone who's injured. Um, you could put little sticks in here, through here, um, but this is also meant to be set down. Um, and you could have two soldiers carrying this while the medic is maybe holding the IV bag up. Um, right now I have my my... My guy just kind of holding some bandages in his hand, which are separate pieces. Um, so the medic is really, I think, top notch. He, he's he's up there, I think, with the best. Uh, and then I would say the wind talkers right behind him. Um, but the wind, uh, objectively speaking, I think the the medic is the best. Subjectively speaking, <laughs> I like the wind talker. Um. But they're all, they all have their own little quirk, you know what I mean? Like, they all, while some of their stuff is similar, some of their stuff is, like, like obviously the Russian is kind of, looks like he's a Russian. He looks different from the others. The Englishman obviously has his own body type, so he's going to look like an Englishman. He's not going to just be reused bodies of the Marine Corps. Um, I would like to pick up one of the, I know that the, the I think the bodies were different for, the army guys, so I, I would like to pick up an army guy eventually. I don't think there was any available, though, at the time, so 
there's that. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this this uh, line overall. Um, like I said, I, I'm definitely probably going to pick up some some Japanese figures and some of the German guys as well. I would like to pick up maybe another Russian and uh, maybe another um, the, uh, the, uh, the Thompson guy uh, down the road. But uh, there was very, it was very limited. Oh, I, I shouldn't say very limited, but it was limited as to um, what was offered as far as completed figures. Uh, and they ran around $30 a piece. So this was definitely over 100 bucks I just spent right here for this set. Um, and they don't come with all the pouches and everything that you do need. Um, like the Englishman didn't come with the, the, all the pouches. I, I could take the pouches off the backpack and put them on the front and that would even it out a little bit more, but I would like some pouches over here for up top. Uh, and just to, just to kind of finish off the look, you know, but overall a very nice set. Like I said, if you're a World War II fan or aficionado or historian, uh, then you're going to, this, this might, um, appeal to you. Um, so there's that but uh yeah overall really pleased with it very happy with these i like the the flamethrower effect for the flamethrower uh trooper that looks really cool i want to say like i said the paint detail on these guys is a little bit more of a step above from the modern guys i want to say some of the modern guys didn't have the paint detail that these guys do like the little usmc um decal the little u.s logos on every little piece that's u.s um the uh, paint apps for the hat ah, i knocked them over uh the little paint apps for the hat that you see with the russian um as you can see right here um the little red star on there that looks really cool um the boots are painted nicely everything is just uh, a little bit more for these for these guys and i can appreciate that um not it's not a knock against the modern ones um there's still paint apps on the modern ones all the the vests are painted on the modern ones um some of the helmet attachments the helmets are painted um but uh with their suits uh i want to say with most of their suits they are they have a little bit more detail uh with them especially in the boot section so there's that to point out um i could be wrong and maybe it's the e an equal amount of paint between these guys and the others, but it looks like I want to say there's a little bit more attention to detail with these. So especially with the uh, the painted helmets and such. So looks really cool. I, I'm you know I'm pretty pleased with all of these. I can't complain at all. Where's the sub crew? We haven't seen them in a while. Well, a lot of that has to do with um, Marauders. Not having the pieces that I need to finish some of the sub crew. Um, we also got some more submissions in. And I can't start doing that until I get back. And I just spent a lot of money on this. And then a lot of money on some other 118 scale stuff. On top of that, me moving. It's not going anywhere. It's just it's taking time. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I'm a... It's just going to take a little bit more patience for me to finish the, the sub crew. But um, I did finish another guy. There's an astronaut that I finished. Um, I'm still working on some stuff with another sub. He's almost done. Another sub, uh, I think it was Jason Trans, his. He submitted one way long ago, and I, I think I have him finished. So um, there's that as well. Uh... I think I finished another one, but it's just it's just been tough with the, with the moving and everything because this is a big move. And I'm, while I'm trying to put stuff away, I'm trying to keep stuff out so I can make content. So it's been a it's been a fucking disaster. So, but you know the sub crew's not going anywhere. So no worries about that. Mar Marauders needs to make some Sailor and Tuskegee Airmen. I would love that. That's a great idea, Craig. I would love that. Uh, love me some semen. <laughs> um, thanks, Holland Bricks. Thanks, Craig. 
No problem, Woodman. I'm picking some of these. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're 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 definitely quality. You know, we know Marauders is quality stuff. You have Mythic Legions Wasteland coming in. Uh, yes, I do. It's probably going to be a while for those though. Uh, at least until I'm after I'm done moving. So that's going to be probably a little bit later on. But yeah, yeah, Mythic Legions isn't going anywhere. They'll still be here. Hell no, dude. You should you should not worry about stuff at the moment. You're spending your money on that stuff. Eh, it's okay. Well, thanks for thanks for popping in, Byron. Appreciate it. Uh, what I might do is I might get all these um, glued in, and then maybe I'll post some pictures to my Facebook page, and I'll post them in the Strident Facebook page. So. If you guys haven't joined the Strident Facebook uh, group, um, it's just a community group. Um, it's pretty much mine and Strident's group. Um, and then I have my own Facebook page, too, if you want to follow me on that. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably post some pictures um, with all their stuff glued in and settled and in poses uh, in the next following days. Um, also, like I said earlier in the stream... Um, I'm probably going to be doing a live stream, just an unboxing of a lot of, uh, different stuff. I don't like to call them unboxings because you never know what you're going to get with those, that crowd. But, um, for the most part, uh, I'll be doing an reveal. Well, I don't know what the hell to call it. Just, just a hangout. I'll just call it a hangout. I'll be doing a hangout with a big bag of toy store, um, shipment coming in. So there's that on uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. It's going to be one of those two days. Uh, so expect that. I'll probably be in my computer room for that. So I won't be here <laughs> at the review station, but there's that. Do I have a Patreon? No, I do not. And I probably never will have a Patreon. Um, I don't really need Patreon. And I'm not worried about the whole COPPA FTC thing. If I was going to get pinched, I would have got pinched already. So I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. Everybody's worried about it. I'm not worried about it. So, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do Patreon. I don't know. I just don't. Ah, uh, I just, I don't, uh, you guys shouldn't have to pay to see my content. I don't know. I'm just not into that whole Patreon thing. So, but no. You're dizzy? All right, I'll turn it off. Oh, that's a light, dumbass. <laughs> oh, no! The medic's down. Someone get the... Yeah. Sir, are you okay? Do you have a neck injury? <clears throat> there we go. All right, there we go. There's the crew. You can see them good enough. But... Yeah, these are pretty cool. I like them a lot. Kappa is trumped up BS. I know. Oh, I know. Yeah, so many people setting their hair on fire, ending their channels before shit even happened. I'm like, good lord. No, not the medic. I know, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about all that stuff. So. Ugh. But uh, I think that's going to do it for here. I've been on here for 180 minutes now. So, pretty good stream. Had a lot of fun doing this. I always have fun hanging out with you guys. Woodman, you have a good night. I'm going to give shout-outs now. Shout-outs, as I always do. Hollenbricks, Dem Guts, Tim Casa, Rich Laporte... Uh, Woodman, Christopher, Wharton, uh, Snow Serpent. Thank you to everybody who contributed too. Thank you for uh, the heads up on a lot of stuff. I know I was wrong, especially with that guy's body. I felt like a dipped for that. Um, action figure addict Kyle. Thank you for popping by. Uh, Buck Wild. Uh, Holland Bricks. I think I already said that. 
uh, action figure expert. Thanks for popping in as always. Like I said, them guts. Uh, Juggernaut Jones, thanks for popping in, bud. Uh, Gaz, as always, bro. And uh, if any of you guys want to pop on uh, PlayStation, um, I, I should do that. I should do like a like a community hangout or something like that. We can all play video games together or something. That would be a lot of fun to do. It doesn't even have to be a stream. We could just, on our free time, whenever, do that stuff. That's a lot of fun to do. Um, what else? Woodman, I already said that. Uh, action figure expert, I already said that. Uh, oh, Strident, thanks for popping in, bro. A&D, thanks for popping in. And like I said, if you guys want to join the, the community on Facebook, the Strident community, it's S-T-R-Y-D-E-N-T. Um, and you can just, just put it in the search and it'll pop up. Uh, put in for a request to, to join the community. And uh, I'm usually, I, it's either me or Strident usually let uh, allow people in. So, uh, Snow Serpent, thanks for popping in. I don't know if I'm repeating names. I probably am because I have terrible ADD and I have a bad memory. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Byron Chandler, thanks for popping in. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you for all the information. Very informative. I appreciate that. Always appreciate the help when needed. Uh, Craig Allison, thanks for popping in. Thanks for hanging out. And I already said Strident. Oh, Scabcat, Kyle, what's going on, man? Oh no, I missed I must have missed all your stuff. Shit. Now I feel like a dickhead. Uh oh no, I answered your okay, never mind. I answered your stuff. Uh, it does look like Daniel Craig, that one guy. Where is he? This one? That guy. Um What else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody? If you guys have any questions while I'm doing this, go ahead and feel free to ask any questions, and I'll do my best to answer. Uh, Ionic Blood six six six. Thanks for popping by, as always. And JD Gibson, thanks for hanging out. Like I said, there's gonna be more Mythic Legions down the road. Uh, Doctor Sin, what's up? A little late to the party. You can always watch it on playback. No issue. Just me hanging out with everybody, shooting the shit, putting these figures together, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to call it here. And like I said, there's going to be a, a, a live stream on uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Whenever I get the stuff from Big Bad Toy Store, the 118th figures, I'm not going to say which ones they are. Oh. <laughs> You'll have to talk amongst yourselves and try and guess which ones they are. But, uh, yeah, so there's that to look forward to. I'm really, 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 really excited for that. Um, but, yeah, you guys all have a great night. Thanks for, like I said, thanks for popping in, everybody. And, um, yeah. Jorge, how's it going? I'm actually ending the stream now. So I feel bad. You guys just popped in, and now, now I'm in the stream. Uh, been making red shadows from today's Marauder parcel. Oh, nice. That's awesome. There's so much. There's so much different stuff you can work with with Marauders. It's so much fun. But uh, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to tune in for my live stream on Tuesday, it's either gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll be doing that. Uh, I'm going to try and post pictures of these guys all glued with all their stuff glued in and all set up um, probably within the next coming couple days, probably over the weekend. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and sneak in a edited Joe review because I when I posted, I was trying to please everybody. Um, when I posted a poll... I think the G.I. Joe review won the poll, and then Marauders came in second. 
So I guess I'm doing this first and then the G.I. Joe review second, but I'm going to try and get that review done. Um, I think I know which one I'm going to do, and I haven't done this review yet. I've been wanting to do this review for quite a while, and these are some figures I really like. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. Because, um, but uh, yeah, so that should be a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody for tuning in yet again. Uh, if I didn't uh, um, say your name, I apologize, And uh, but I want to thank you for tuning in anyway and hanging out with me. That's what this is all about, just hanging out, having a good time, talking about figures, and that's it. So pretty much you guys have a great time. Have a great night. Be safe, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.